Oh, he's not saying it. The best loan officers in the universe, Trevor, Derek, and Charlie, will help you achieve that dream. <laughs> Don't be a quitter. Let them help you today. Let them help you today. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you going to stop screwing around at some point? I'm ready. Action. All right. Welcome to So Into Bourbon. Welcome. Episode 285. No one knows. Nobody knows. No one we cares. stopped counting. This is our Thanksgiving episode. Gobble. That gobble. will probably not be uploaded before Thanksgiving, which is tomorrow, but maybe it's next Thanksgiving. So I'm not even going to tell you the year that we're recording this. So it may be. I see what you did there. 364 days from now. That would. And that someone would take may a while. search. What's a great bourbon for Thanksgiving? It has a turkey and on it. This will pop up. Right? Yeah, you want something that has a turkey on it for sure. Algorithm. So yes. So what we have here today is wild turkey rare breed rye. It's a barrel proof. Um, believe it or not, wild turkey up until like what 2020? I don't think they had a consistent rye product that they put out on the market. I believe you're correct. I could be wrong. No, I believe you're but correct. I'm probably yep. not. Um, this bad boy retails for right around 60 bucks. I bought this at Costco for $59.99. Love a Costco. Did you get yeah. a dollar fifty hot dog? And drink? I did not because I don't have a membership card and the lady stopped me at the door and very strongly told me that I could not come in. And I said, well, I know that I can buy liquor without a card. So where's the liquor? And she said, right around the corner. <laughs> So, so you didn't get a hot dog? No, I didn't get a hot dog. Bummer. So anyway, let's get back on track here. This is a 112.2 proof, non-age stated cask strength bourbon. Um, it's rumored to be a blend of four, six, and eight year old bourbon. I don't know. All right, let me correct myself. Rye, not bourbon. Um, so yeah, let's- uh, I'm gonna tell you right now. Let's get into it. Beautiful bottle. It is beautiful. Um, I did have the opportunity a, a couple years ago to meet the one, the only, Jimmy Russell. Mr. Russell? Yeah. Signed a couple bottles for awesome. me. Um, he said, he told me, which, you know, take that for what it's worth, that all of their 101, Wild Turkey 101, mm -hmm. is at least seven years old. Okay. That's what he told me. Jimmy Russell told me that. I'm not going to argue with uh, Mr. Ruffle, Russell. Ruffle? Ruffle. Ruffles and oh. Bridges. Oh, I like it. Pop number two. Okay, so while he's pouring, I have a story. Story time with Glenn. Story time. I need to make a graphic Glenn. for that. Yeah, like we it need a, a like a jingle too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so story. Uh, 17, 18, 19 year old Glenn. I can't remember exactly. So 50 years ago? Yeah. Had a really, really rough night with wild turkey that'll do it Gosh. um being the young stupid person yeah. that i was not a bourbon drinker just a kid looking to have a good time and yep. get drunk drank a lot of wild turkey and was very very sick so fast forward um i don't know from that time maybe 10 years um, once I started kind of getting into bourbon and, and collecting and buying. You stayed I, away from the turkey, huh? Yeah, so although I did buy, I bought a bottle of Rare Breed, not the rye, but the Wild Turkey Rare Breed Barrel Proof back in 2000, somewhere between 2000, 2002. And it sat in my cabinet for Mm, 18 because, to 20 years because, because I could not bring yeah. myself to drink wild turkey. Because you were afraid. Right. So finally, maybe two or three years ago, Thanksgiving, my brother is over and I'm like, you know what? I'm a big boy now. I'm a bourbon connoisseur. It's a big boy I'm now. I'm going to crack this open. Let's do it. Did Which you get I sick? Did. No, I didn't get oh, sick, but the, the cork crumbled on me. So we wild. had to we had to sift the wild mm. turkey through a coffee filter, which I've learned from that experience too. Now I have invested in some some metal strainers, yeah. and so if that wild problem ever happens again, I've got wild to take turkeys it out. have notoriously bad corks, by the way, especially older wild turkeys. Oh, or no, 
We're in those. <laughs> oh, cheers. Cheers for the note. We're not, not tasting. Woo, yet. man. All right, so I have tried this. I'm, I'm gonna, full disclosure, I had this about a week and a half ago at a tailgate. I have not had this. You have not, so I wanna hear your- Maybe ever. I wanna hear your first impressions on the nose. Evergreen tree, like, like spearmint, pine, cedar, like big, bold, minty. I don't get the mint, I get, I get fruit. That's what I pick up. We're way off. Yeah, I get fruit. Yeah, this this ta this citrus fruit, which can you I know could, I, I could see that I being could, construed as minty or yeah yeah I, I, okay all right maybe all right let me ask you do you get a lot of ethanol do you pick up a lot of alcohol um, since it's a barrel proof what is the proof on this glass one twelve point two I mean I guess that's pretty pretty. Oh, to, to you, that's not very proofy. Not a lot of ethanol. I mean, it's there. Yeah, I mean, I you can't I, stick your nose in there. I but don't pick up a lot. It's it's there, but not. Interesting color on it. It's a nice color. It's more. It's not as dark as you would think for a cask strength. I don't think it's mm -mm. amber honey. But color, really which, coats the glass. Yeah, like really does. Big big legs. So all right, cheers. Let's drink. Cheers. Once again, I'm going to let you go first. <sighs> hmm. I love good rye. I really do. Spicy, but not, not a lot spicy. Like just, just enough rye spice. Um, one of the things that I've found in the last couple of years is when people are like, we got to make rise, rise are popular again, which I love because mm -hmm. seven, eight years ago, rise were slowly becoming not a thing. Mm -hmm. And then they came roaring back, which may be because of hipsters. I don't know. They wanted to drink something that wasn't around, but God bless you hipsters. If you did create this, <laughs> um, I love a rye really good, sweet, savory. I get a little bit of that minty citrusy, um, just really nice, spicy, and there's a sweetness there that I normally don't get mm -hmm. from, especially a barrel proof rye. So that to me, not, not as much tonight as when I first tried this couple, couple weeks ago. It's funny. I tried it at a tailgate, right? So we were outside, it was cold, mm -hmm. and you never know how the elements are gonna affect your yeah. your sense Great. of smell, your Great sense point. of taste. So it, all I could taste that day, it was just so sweet. I, I didn't get hardly any spice at all. I didn't get any hotness, like it, it did not drink like a barrel proof at all. Mm -hmm. um, it was just sweet and smooth and a lot of fruit like citrus and yeah. I'm, I'm still getting that it's not quite as sweet tonight as it was the first time i had it it's a little more proofy than the first time i tried it i love how long the rye spice lasts it, it just kind of like it's gonna sound silly you know pop rocks mm -hmm. how pop rocks kind of pop 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 yeah and and even after that's kind of, this has kind of a Pop Rocks finish that okay. it just keeps kind of like tickling your tongue, if you will. It's a really, I'll go with you. Really good rye, barrel proof rye. It's very smooth. And I would recommend this for a Thanksgiving gather, gathering. And it, not just because it's called wild turkey, but because you're going to have a lot of people over to the house who, some maybe are bourbon or an, and rye connoisseurs, some aren't. I think this is very approachable, especially for a barrel proof, especially for a rye. It's it's not going to offend anybody. It's not going to blow anyone away, but it's, it's, it's a very approachable, a very friendly 112 proof rye. I will go the opposite route 
and I will say, and I haven't had this. That's a really great, really great bottle. And I'm not a cocktail guy, but the flavor profile and the kind of cascading flavors that you get out of this would be really interesting to make some, huh. some cocktails out of this because there's, there's a lot going on in that pour. And, um, I, I will definitely pick up a bottle of this and, and keep it on my bar. Cause that's a, that's a really, really solid pour. How much did you say the retail was on that? $59.99. Find your local Costco, grab a hot dog and a Coke for $1.50 and march your butt into the, uh, yeah. into the liquor store and, and get you a bottle of that. Cause if you're a bourbon drinker or a rye drinker or not a rye drinker, start with that. Yeah, this That's is a good definitely, one. this is Man. a drinker. This is one that I will buy over and over. Um, it's, there's not a lot of char on it. There's not a lot of barrel. Um, it's just a, it's a really good, smooth, nice drinker. It's a great bottle to highlight the difference between a bourbon and a rye. Mm -hmm. a, a classic rye. Maybe would you say classic? I don't. You know, I don't know if I would agree with you on that one. Just because I don't feel like this drinks like a lot of rye's do. It doesn't have that that real rye spice punch to it that many rye's do. See, I I get the rye spice, but it's it's not as intense. But it's long lasting. It's a long lasting rye spiciness to it. In so, any way. all right. So let me, it, let me compare. Okay. Compare so away. the same day that I tried this, I, mm -hmm. I try to, and try to contain yourself over here. He's going to say it. We had a Knob Creek rye barrel proof single barrel, which I am a huge fan of Knob Creek. I'm a huge fan of Knob Creek rye and very similar proofs total opposites so that was all chocolate all char um really good but just totally different yep. um my opinion that one's more of a let's make an old-fashioned because i like an old-fashioned that tastes like chocolate and and chocolate covered cherries and to me that so the that the Knob Creek was the cocktail. To me, portion. yes. To me. Interesting. In my opinion. Interesting. Now, I would I would use either. You know me, I'm a I'm a I'm an old fashioned kind of guy. So as long as it has some proof to it and see what he and, did there. <laughs> <laughs> That's regardless, I think and we can have differing opinions. Yeah. I to me, this doesn't strike me as your classic rye. Um, to me, I was a little surprised by the sweetness, by the smoothness. Um, I don't, I don't get a lot of sweetness yeah, on this. You don't? I really don't. I, I, I don't get a lot of sweet. I will tell you, it's a really good bottle for 60 bucks and it is, it, it gives me hope. It makes me happy because I, at this point, there isn't a lot that I haven't drank or I haven't bought. So it makes me kind of happy to know that when I see <laughs> this. Put the period after drink. Thank you. <laughs> it makes me happy to know that a big boy, you know, one of the big ones in Wild Turkey is making something that I really like. And that is, I would hope, somewhat readily available. Um, but yeah, great port. Absolutely. So having said all that. Shall we do a drink it or sink it? I think I've already tipped, tipped my hand. Shan't we? I think we have all tipped our hands, but drink it to or be sink official, it. drink it or sink it. Drink it. Absolutely. Drink it. 100%. Absolutely. Drink it all day long. Drink it. Buy it. Store it. Pour it. Do whatever you want to. It's great. Um, good. Not great. It's a really good bottle of bourbon. Really Rye. Good. Really good. Whiskey. Well job, Mr.
<laughs> well job. <laughs> we're, we're, hey, we're editing that. No, we're not. We're leaving that in. Well job. <laughs> and that's going to be our first merchandise that you see at the store. Well job, Glenn, and so into bourbon on, on the back. Well job, Mr. Russell. Well job, Mr. Russell. <laughs> Jimmy Russell. Um, Jimmy Russell is an awesome guy. He still hangs out at the Wild Turkey Distillery. If you go there and he happens to be there, he will sign stuff for you. I, literally at my feet right now, I have a bottle. You know what? <laughs> Through the magic of editing. Oh. Wild Turkey, 101, age dated eight years. And uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's signed by Jimmy Russell. Yeah, let's crack it open. <laughs> <clears throat> it's got a bad cork, Glenn. <laughs> So, but, uh, but yeah, um, love a wild turkey. So two thumbs up, like, and subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Although we're going to cut that out too, because they made me watching this on July 14th, but that's okay. Everybody loves Thanksgiving. Everyone. Yeah. Most people. I don't want to get political. <laughs> Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. And buy a nice bottle of Wild Turkey Rare Breed Rye. God bless America. We out. (laughs) Cut. That was a struggle. You know what you need? Some what? Wa- some Waffle House. <laughs> Who doesn't?